Hi everyone! Today I thought we could have a little chat about the environment or in this format I guess it's more that I'm chatting to you and you can't chat so much back but you know that I really appreciate your comments so if you have anything to say do it down below. Uh, if you can hear purring it's because I still have my mom's cat Suna here and he's joined us for our chat. <laughs> Anyway, I, I thought we'd have this chat because quite a long time ago now I asked on Instagram if there was anything you'd like me to talk about or share or film or yeah, you know. And uh, one of you, uh, lovely people, wrote that it would be nice to hear how I make an effort to create less waste and how that links to being a vegan for me. So. Um, the, envir the, the environment is obviously important to me and it's something I think a lot about and I don't know if I've shared this with you very much on here but today is the day I guess and um, I'll get into the question I think over the course of the video I won't ask, answer it straight up I want to talk about uh, my impact on the environment at large and also hopefully uh, from me chatting about how I think about the environment, you'll be able to take away some ideas for for how you can tackle this um, this question in your life too. That's my hope. Um, and I'm gonna make sections in the video. I think it'll be about three sections where I'll talk about different topics. But before I go into that, I just want to touch upon something that I realized not that long ago, and it's <laughs> which is maybe silly, but um, uh, we had an election here in Sweden last year, and it just became apparent to me that you know my vote is a way for me to impact on the environment. Obviously, every party, at least here in Sweden, have a policy for the environment and environmental changes and loss, and. Um, it just became so clear to me that there are some political parties that want to do more, that have more of the same view of the environmental question uh, as I do. And uh, I'm really glad that I read up a little bit on that before I voted. Not that it made a radical change in how I voted anyway, but maybe for someone who doesn't really vote now, this could be <laughs> a little bit of a nudge that the cat is coughing, sorry, a little bit of a nudge that, you know, your vote matters. And um, if you care about the environment, I think that your vote matters a hell of a lot. Not that political parties are taking uh, the environment super seriously. I don't think they are. But at least here in Sweden, there's a big difference between the parties and the spectrum. And um, yeah. It was important to me to, to think about the environment when I made my choice. And um, yeah, that's just the thought. But let's go into uh, the three sections I thought we'd uh, talk about. And we'll start with veganism. So veganism for me is like the no-brainer good choice to do a good thing for the environment. I think there's been so much research lately and even going back uh, several years to show that not consuming animal products or at least consuming a very small amount of animal products has a huge impact on the environment and um, a positive impact on the environment and I think that it's one of the um, most obvious choices we can make as an individual and um, it's not necessarily a simple choice and um, I know that food is important to a lot of people uh, for cultural reasons and tradition and uh, just the way we live our lives and we were brought up but um, it's just a good thing that's the bottom line and the cat keeps coughing you just have to ignore him um but yeah veganism is like the no-brainer good thing to do for the environment in my opinion and i think in the opinion of many scientists as well even the guardian at the beginning of this year came out with an article saying that that veganism is the individual choice well the best individual choice you can make to impact on the environment positively. So that's like the, the first thing I, I do and think about for the environment. If you really care about the environment and um, 
and you're open to doing new things to have a positive impact, I think this is a great place to start. And um, yeah, it's definitely the, the place where I started as well. The second category or section I want to talk about is traveling. And uh, traveling is something I've done a lot in the last few years, always or almost always by plane, in the air, releasing a lot of gases. And um, I didn't really realize until not long ago how big of an impact my flying has on my carbon footprint. I did one of these tests online where you can calculate your carbon footprint so how much gas emissions you contribute to. And uh, I realized that air travel is the, the one thing that really um, makes my score bad. And I thought with being a vegan that I was doing so well and um, uh, had just a positive impact on the environment, but it's not quite that simple, even though I think that's a, a great place to start. I think traveling less by plane is my next step. And uh, I think it's something we're not that comfortable talking about because we're a global world and everyone loves to travel. And I think especially influencers, we, we love to share our travels and that's a great thing. And I, I understand that you want to maybe see other places and experience cultures close up, but I like to think that we can do that in other ways and maybe travel in other ways as well. So I'm not saying, you know, you should stop traveling, maybe just travel dif differently, maybe look closer to home at what you can experience in your local area. And uh, for me living in the south of Sweden this year, I'm going to try and travel mainly by train. So if I want to go on a holiday, I'm going to focus on going maybe somewhere in Sweden or somewhere in Europe where I can actually take a train to that destination. And um, for me, it's like going from like eight to 10 flights in a year to, I'm hoping I can do one this year. We shall see how it goes, um, but that's my aim. And um, yeah, if you want, maybe try one of these carbon footprint tests to see how you um, score. Uh, I can link some of them below. The third and final section I want to talk about is, is consumption, which is what the, the question at the beginning was really about. And um, creating less waste for me is important. Maybe the other things I've been talking about are, are like bigger things that, that you can do, but I think creating less waste is like the third step and the, and the third thing to focus on in your life. And for me, at this point in time, the biggest thing when it comes to consumption, uh, apart from not consuming animal products, is to buy less things and be really mindful about what I'm buying so that I don't buy anything unnecessary, any things that I don't need, or if I know I'm not gonna use something for a long time, I don't want to buy it. And that's like step one. Don't bring things into your life that you know you're going to waste. Because basically everything we bring into our lives, we're going to waste in one way or another. So don't buy things willy-nilly is step one. And um, then beyond that, buying secondhand is something I, I want to look more into. I have been doing it in the past, but maybe for bigger things like furniture and... Uh, and um, clothes and, um, well, anything, basically, you can find uh, secondhand. And often you can find really good quality items on websites, like here in Sweden we have Tradera, which is a site where you, where you can buy secondhand things, but often they are in, a, in good nick, maybe they're not even used. So I think that's something we all need to do more of. And then when it comes to food, I think it's really good to only buy the amount of food that you will actually eat so that you don't waste food. Um, just try not to waste food. <laughs> it's unnecessary. It costs you money and uh, it costs resources from the earth. So that's something I focus on in my life. And then also, I think what, what the person was um, meant with their question was also about creating less waste as in plastic and and packaging and I think 
this can be a little bit tricky, especially for me living an hour away from a zero waste store. And the supermarkets here in Sweden aren't very um, living non-package uh, friendly. And um, so it gets a little tricky here. I think the best thing you can do is to buy the least packaging that you can and don't uh, you know buy extra plastic bags and and uh, don't use those little plastic bags for your um, for your fruits that come loose or vegetables try and bring some cloth bags or whatever do your best that's what I do I do my best and how how this links to me being vegan it's not that <laughs> not that simple I think that my me caring for the environment brings everything together and and with being being vegan and having gone vegan I do think more about my impact on other beings on the planet and that's where it comes where this um, more low impact zero waste thinking came in for me that I wanted to have less of an impact negatively on the environment and create as little waste as possible not to um, weigh the weigh the planet down so to speak so I hope that uh, made some sense to you and I hope it was helpful to you in some way. Uh, going forward, I hope to be doing some more chats like this on topics that you find interesting. If you have any questions for me or any topics you'd like uh, for me to talk about, you can um, comment in the comment down below. And for now, I'm gonna say bye. Thank you for watching and I wish you a lovely day.